Welcome to another video on my channel. If you want to know who I am and what my channel is about, please forward to the end of the video where I have a short summary of what I do and what my channel is about. In this video, I'll show you how I passed the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals AZ900 exam online. To begin with, it's important that you know what is going to be assessed in the exam. For example, as Microsoft calls it, the skills that are measured in the exam or the objective domain of the exam, which is on their website, docs.microsoft.com. And I'm going to come to more details about that website later on. But for now, you should definitely have this PDF with you and go through it. Next, you should visit the Microsoft Learn site, which is the same site I mentioned before, docs.microsoft.com. And when you go there, you should press on the Learn blade and you will uh, get this interface. And over here, you can search for the exam AZ900 certification. And when you do that, as I did right now, you will be able to view details about the exam and about changes in the uh, exam syllabus as well as the skills measured as I showed you previously already and uh, also you have free modules available with amazing content which you can learn and this should be the basis of your learning for the exam. As you can see there are some other exam resources available as well but they're not really that important, not as important as these free modules. Oh also there are two ways to prepare, you can also pay for an instructor, uh, instructor led um, course but i would recommend that you stick to the free uh, online modules because they're quite good as well you can even collect these modules in your own collection you can then go to profiles and easily access these modules from your collection instead of having to search for them every single time as i've done over here and i uh, at the time of recording i was still doing those modules now this over here is the book for the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam, as it says over there, on skillpipe.com. And this is not available for free, you have to pay for it. And it's the same content as uh, what's on the website, the only difference is that it's in a book form. Next tip, whether you use the book or you learn through the uh, Microsoft Learn website, you should definitely do the walkthroughs. This is a time lapse of me doing the walkthroughs while I was studying around a week or so ago. And these walkthroughs are very useful in helping you to visualize and, you know, actually absorb the content and understand what's actually written uh, in a more practical way. Although AZ900 is not a technical exam, you should still do the walkthroughs because it helps you to understand the content uh, and uh, it's uh, a good uh, exercise to do. The next tip is something which I actually do myself. You don't really have to do it and some people might not find this way of studying quite effective, but I found it quite useful. I took notes while I was learning from the website as well as when I was watching other videos, etc. as we'll come to later on. So I took these notes and they're not very elaborate notes. They're very concise and more of in a diagram kind of way with arrows, etc. And I wrote these down while I was learning, not afterwards, because I knew I would forget to do that. So I did it while I was learning. And this helped a lot later on when I wanted to revise. I didn't have to go uh, through it, the entire content, which was on the Microsoft Learn website. Instead, I could just go through my brief notes and it helped to refresh my memory. And I'm going to come to this point later on in the video as well. Now, if you're not much of a reading person, you can always watch Tim Warner's videos. He has a really good playlist on almost all of the topics that are covered in the exam AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals uh, online exam. And uh, it's quite a great collection of videos and the explanation is step by step, very easy to understand. So if you have something that you don't really understand in the uh, 
uh, in the subject uh, in the topics then you can always watch his videos they're quite useful i'll link the channel down below and if you ever find something that is of importance or something you feel you should really remember you can always write it down while watching the videos as i'm doing right now next you should always try to test yourself on what you have learned like after you've learned it or after some time to see if you still remember it and you should definitely do this the day of your exam or the day before your exam so that it uh, stays fresh in your memory over here i am revising through my notes the ones that i made previously and this is the day of the exam which was 6th july uh, sorry 6th august 2020 and along with revising the notes i also went to the microsoft learn website to check some things which i wanted to confirm if they were correct or if i accidentally wrote them down wrong and i also watched some of tim's videos which i mentioned earlier And that is all that's the end of my video now if you want to know who I am then I am a scholarship awarded student studying at a school in the UAE this school is very good in terms of education because many students have graduated from their O levels with amazing marks some of them even getting the highest marks in the entire world and so I study at that school and I also like to write stories in my free time. I'm also a keen reader and I publish my photographs on unsplash.com. The link is below. I also happen to be a beginner Apple Swift coder. I took my course from Treehouse and the link for that is also below. Lastly, I am Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certified, as you probably got to know from this video. The link to my badge is also below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.